What do you got? So I got this book on horse anatomy. Yeah, my dad's a book guy and my dad's a horse guy. Um, let me get him over here. Hey, Pops, I got an old book about horse anatomy. OK. Um, probably 1800s, so it's like an old textbook for vets. Kind of. It's not really a textbook. These are book plates. These are engravings. They're copper plates. Someone had to engrave this entire thing, which uh -huh. is a drawn-out process. Uh, see how they're sewn in? Individual sheets, you can actually take these out. They're designed oh. to be able to take out and actually frame and things like that. So it was an expensive book at the time. Um, where did you get this? Um, I used to work at this farm, and I found it in the basement. And I uh, asked the owner of the farm, and he said I could take it. OK. Um, I mean, it's, it's in rough shape. Um, people love horses. Well, most people do, OK? Some people in this world don't like horses. OK? Um, but it, it's a beautiful book. I mean, you have some serious condition issues here. Um, yeah. I'd love to buy it off you if the price is right. How does uh, 750 sound? That's what I was thinking. Um, did you take 500 bucks for it? <sighs> Can we do 600? I'll go five and a quarter. It, it's sort of a pig and a poke. I, 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 what are you talking about pigs for? It's a horse book. It's an expression. <laughs> you want 525 for it? I do. OK. I do want 525. That's great. Just go see my cashier. Look, it's your paid to 525. OK? OK, just, cool. Just leave it here. OK, thank you. I can't wait to talk to Rebecca later, because you just wasted $525 on horse pictures. I got the whole video chat thing set up. We'll show her the book. Now, what's a pig in a poke? You know what? I'm not going to explain it to you. This is amazing, isn't it? I don't know why you bought the book. Because I'm pretty good at what I do, and I know that it's probably worth something. All right. You don't know anything about horse anatomy or horse books. I owned horses. There she is. Rebecca, how's it going? Hey, how are you, Rick? Fabulous. Um, he bought a book on horse anatomy. How do you feel about that, Corey? You know my love of horses. What do you think? The Anatomy of the Horse, the George Stuff book, it is famous for those engraved plates. It was a huge project for the time. When it was first published in the 18th century, it was considered the best of its kind. And the author, Stubbs, as you can see, the artist, he got into extreme detail with how careful he was uh, following the anatomy of horses. And so it's this work of natural history when everyone's getting really interested in using that in order to kind of push forward science at the time. See? What do these books go for? There were a number of editions of this. What's the year of this edition? 1853. All right, so this is a later Victorian edition of the book. Rick, can you give me a sense of the condition? Uh, the binding is bad. Um, there's no tearing in papers. There's no bad mold or anything like that. All in all, I think it's a pretty good copy. All right, here's the thing. If it's left in that state, the book will con continue to deteriorate. But if the interior looks nice, all the plates are there and the plates are intact, there's still real potential here. If it's, you know, in beautiful condition, it can be a $10,000 book. So if you were willing to put in the money, then you might actually see some real money out of it, in fact. Can I send it to you, and you can handle everything for it? Oh, yeah. Send it to me, and I'll get it out to the right person, and we'll get it repaired. All right, so I will get it out to you right away. Thanks, Rebecca. You're amazing, as always. Thanks, Rebecca. No, it's not. I mean, no, I mean, it's, it's got beautiful engravings, like I said earlier. You got lucky. 